Seeing as I'm still out of food in that grocery store, I really didn't have much. We're gonna be having an interesting dinner tonight, but that's okay. Better than nothing, right, Bob? Better than nothing. We have peppers and chicken sausage over the fire tonight. Yeah, car camping at its best. Chicken, sausage, and peppers. Dinner tonight. Bubby, get away from there. I know what you're doing. Yeah, you're fishing for extra food. It's kind of naughty, kid. Just a little bit naughty. Whenever I cook over a fire, I feel like a real camper. <laughs> We're real campers, Blue. How do you feel? Come here. Come here. Oh, how do you feel? Yeah, you just want some chicken sausage, huh? I know it's on your mind. <laughs> Jump. Blue. You're gray. You have so much dirt on you, you're not even white anymore. Come here. This dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, okay. You guys, I love Idaho. That's my conclusion. I think as much as I loved Washington, and Oregon. I think Idaho is my number one as of the three we've been through. I can't get over this mountain range and how jagged the mountains are. Beautiful. Hey, what are you eating? What are you eating? Come here. Bubby. What is that? Oh. It's the other half of your tennis ball. Got it. This chicken sausage that I bought is already cooked all the way through, so really we're just heating everything up. While you're really holding on to the last shred of hope with your tennis ball. <laughs> Good job, Bubby. An athlete you are.
Wow, that's... That's good. <laughs> oh, blue. I see your little nose sniffing around. That chicken sausage is so good. What the heck? I'm kind of debating right now if I want to, after I'm done with this, clean up camp and leave and go to the next place because I love this campsite. We've been here almost a week, but we're running out of everything. And like you saw today, I got just enough water and stuff for dinner tonight. So I'm still out of food, still will be out of water after tonight. And that little grocery store that's in town just doesn't have enough. So. Um, I was gonna move on tomorrow anyways, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe I'll do that tonight So that I can wake up tomorrow and just get everything done and get it knocked out instead of having to wake up Leave here Drive an hour or two. How long is it even away? How long is the next campsite? Good question, Maria Hour and 15 away. So I almost just feel like knocking that out tonight You feel me? I feel like that's smarter. I need to cook more. Oh my gosh, fly! A fly just got stuck in my mustard. I'm gonna rage right now. Yeah, ow. So rude. Oh my gosh, if these flies don't get out of my food. I'm gonna bring it out. Look at that. Perfect. Little bit of char. Alright, you know what? We're done. There's flies all over this. This is exactly why I hate bugs. They ruin everything that's good. <laughs> they ruin everything good in my life. All right, let's pack up camp. Last thing to do is fill the leaky tire.
Did I happen to find coffee at 7, 8 p.m. at night? Maybe. Did I get one? No, I got two. <laughs> it's an addiction at this point. My excuse is that I'm driving over an hour to the next camp, okay? It's always, it's like a road trip excuse to get coffee. You know, I'm, watch me justify this. Um, I'm trying to support small town local coffee shops. The guy in there was a muffin. He was so sweet. And I just supported his business and bought two coffees at 8 p.m. I feel like it's okay. I've barely been eating for two days because I ran out of food. So I'm supplementing with small town coffee. Also, I see the super cool old school 4x4. I think it's a Bronco. I'm going to go drive by it and just peek because you guys know I love old restored off-road vehicles. <laughs> Are you a Bronco? It's an international scout. That thing is dope. never see scouts like out in the wild so it's kind of cool. Okay Marie, don't get in a crash and figure out how to turn around. You're the best road trip buddy in the entire world buddy. I love you so much. Alright, off to camp we go. This view is it. guys change plans apparently there's a huge wildfire that just crossed the highway so the highway to the town I was going to is completely blocked off from set fire I talked to the sheriff and he said that if they're able to contain it tonight we should be able to get through tomorrow but there's nothing we can do there's no way out of here so I think I'm just gonna go back to camp where I was right Bubby what are you oh oh Baby, this isn't the safest thing in the world. I love you, though. Yeah, do you want to tell everybody about how you barked your head off at the sheriff? Which was super embarrassing. Seeing as he could arrest us. It makes sense why there was that big, huge cloud. The really pretty pink one. I was, I was driving and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen a cloud like that before. And it's because it's from the fire, Maria. That would be why. Wildfires are no joke. See, now I get why my dad was calling me, telling me not to get caught up in wildfires. For service and check on what the fire danger levels are. You need to be real careful because these forest fires out west, they're a different animal than anything we see in the Midwest. Yikes. Well, that was a fun little detour, I guess, guys. I hope we can get out of here tomorrow. We shall see, I suppose. Huh, Lucifer? Yeah, you're definitely being Lucifer tonight. You are on your own agenda. That is for sure. Ain't paying no mind. Ain't listening to nobody. Looks like someone grabbed our spot. Which, I mean, 
makes sense. We've been gone for hours at this point. All right, here we go. Come on. Go potty. Come on, let's go potty. Guys, you gotta love the moon. It's so bright. Go potty, bud. He's dragging his feet. It's like a toddler, you know? They know it's time to go to bed and they don't want to. So he's just like taking extra time. Bubby, go to the bathroom. Go potty. There he goes. Good boy. Good boy, bud. Ready for bed? Okay, come on. Hop up. Good boy. Very noisily executed, Papa Lou. Proud of you. He's like, yeah, bye. I'm gonna go get my bone. <laughs> Enough of this. All right, to bed we go.